Hey guys, this is 73218, and uh, today I'm going to review Aliens vs Predator for the Xbox 360. Okay, this game was released uh, last Friday, uh, four days ago, and I just completed it yesterday. Uh, it was the Aliens uh, campaign I just, I just completed to finish it off. I played the Marines first, since it's the most sensible thing to do, probably, and then play the Predator campaign, and then play the Alien. Um, my overall thoughts off the game is um, I thought the Marine campaign was decent. It was not, it was not terrible. It was I thought it was actually quite good. I enjoyed it, but my favorite of all would be the Predator campaign. Just a way you can use other Predators' gadgets and all the weaponry is just amazing, and uh, I enjoyed that one the most. And then the least would be the Alien. Well, the Alien campaign was not bad, but it was just too short. It was not that long. It was only like four or five missions. It's, not, it's very very short. This is the, just the this uh, edition I got was the Survivor edition, which just came with a steel bootcase, which I'll take out in a moment for you. And it came with four exclusive maps, two Survivor maps, and then two maps for online. But unfortunately, I don't think you can use them until the map maps actually are released on Xbox Live, which is pretty stupid actually, I'd say. But um, then I'll take it out to show you what it's like. I did unbox of this if you want to know. Uh, this is the steel book, which is really, really nice. I, I like that. Nice uh, artwork in the box there. And then we're prepared on the side. You open it up. The game disc is not there. It's um, I'll put that in for a moment here, but I just took this out anyway, just to show you. That's the manual. Black and white, nothing really special. Just tells you about the weaponry for the Marines Predator and how the controls and that. Yeah, that's like bonus add-on content. You can see the code if you want. I'll put it in, so it doesn't really matter. That's the artwork inside the box, which is pretty cool. You can see a predator on the tree, a couple of marines and aliens and all that. About pretty cool artwork. There's some some uh, still books you don't get a lot of artwork on them, which pretty sucks. But this one did have quite a bit of artwork in it. So anyway, uh, I'm just gonna put the disc in. Just give us two seconds. Um, I'll show you my achievements as well for this on the Xbox One here as well. Um, I didn't do any gameplay because I wanted to do this bit, so uh, I'll put that in and you can see it on the menu. It should just come up in the moment. I'll show you my achievements and all that. Which, I, to be honest, uh, I don't have a lot of them. Well, I've got most of them, but not all of them. But there is there. I've just got my achievements. You can see there, I've got 540 out of 1000, 31 out of 50. Now, I got that audio thing, I didn't actually use, uh, for pointers for people, you know, in this game, you have to find 67 audio diaries, and you have to find the Predator necklaces, and you have to find um, this royal jelly and this canisters for the alien. If you don't know what you're doing, and you don't know where to find them all, go to YouTube and find out. Because I had to use YouTube to find just one of them. Which was a pain in the arse because I had all of them set in that. But as you can see, if we go through the achievements, I've got that. I've completed all three campaigns. All the ones marked in green are the alien. So it just shows you it's actually just four missions. That's in hard, that. Because I've completed the game in hard for all campaigns. Set. And the Predator is actually pretty long. There's quite a bit of missions for that. And there's some Marines. Not that long either, and that's just online ones, the yells, and they've got, I've got these ones to do, so that's gonna be a bit, a bit of a challenge, but I'm hopefully I'll get it done. There's this one called uh, Six Pack Play with Six Friends in a Ranked Match. If you've got this game, then add me so we can actually get this achievement. Cause that's, that pisses me off. That I need to get that. That's, that's 30 G as well. It's worth getting. But uh, yeah, uh, overall, um, the campaigns are very good. Aliens one's pretty short, the Predator is amazing, the Marines is very good. First couple of missions for the Marines are really good. Takes you back to the uh, the original setting of the music and the films and that. But I'd give the sound in this game an excellent. This is brilliant. I'd give that probably a 9 out of 10. It was brilliant. Graphics, well, they are alright. They're not the best graphics for next, or the, the best that you can get for next gen. 
I'd probably give that an 8 out of 10. The sound I've done, that's pretty good. Um, the gameplay is uh, really good as well. The controls are not too bad. They're not. There can be confusion sometimes, especially when you're switching to your secondary mode on your guns. Sometimes you press the wrong button. If you're a marine, you throw a flare instead of a fucking grenade, and it's annoying. But um, right now, for my overall f uh, for the game now, a lot of you know I am a big Alien and Predator fan from the films, and you might think, oh, it's just gonna give it a ten out of ten, but um. If I if I was being honest with myself for an Alien vs Predator fan, I'd probably give this game a nine out of ten or nine and a half out of ten. Um, to me, the music, the sound, the gameplay, the campaigns just all reminded me from the old from the old um, just the old game, the old the films and all that, and plus the PC games and all that, that reminded me of it. I really did like this game. It's pr I don't know, I'd probably say I enjoyed it more than Bioshock 2, but Bioshock 2 was really good as well. But that's just me, because I'm a fan of the uh, Alien vs Predator. Overall, I'd probably give this game an 8.5 and 9 out of 10. That's just my opinion, guys. Um, I just really liked the game, so... Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And uh, um, if you want to add me and play some of this online, just add me. It's... Uh, Non-capital L space simulator, capital then non-capital capital and that so on. So if you add me for that, then you can do that. Uh, okay, that's been my review. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.